What's up everyone, this is Danny for Gadget Hacks back with another video how-to. Now, if you read a bunch of my articles, I always do a lot of modding on my phone. I'm always flashing, I'm always doing certain mods, I'm always using custom recoveries, a lot of stuff like that. And even though I make precautions to do backups, a lot of times stuff just breaks. You know, my phone's a paperweight, I, it's, just how, it's just how flashing and hacking is. Now, I'll, even though I make a backup sometimes, when I restore from the backup, I always run into this problem where I might have a corrupted EFS partition. Now, if you don't know what it is, it's basically the data that your phone uses to connect to any kind of network. Whether it's a Wi-Fi, it's your cell tower, it's your Bluetooth. All that information is unique to the phone or else it can't connect. Now, when that gets corrupted, your phone won't be able to connect and it's just basically a paperweight. Now, there are ways to fix your EFS partition, but it's a very long and tedious process. So I recommend you make precautions to back it up before it does get corrupt. Now I'll show you how to do that today with an app that I linked to in the show notes. Now we're going to download the app. It's an APK file, so be sure to have unknown sources enabled. It's called IMEI Tool. It says it's for N9005. That's the International Note 3, but it also works on the AT&T version. I'm going to install it right now. So tap on the APK file and then click Install. Now once it's done installing, all you have to do is just launch it, and I'll show you how it works. Click Open. Now, all you have to do now is just tap and hold on the, the icon to the right, and that'll make an EFS backup. Granted root permissions, and that's it. I'll show you it's been granted root permissions, and it's made a backup. EFS backup is done. Now, you know, open up your file manager. Just use the stock one. I'm going to browse, and there it is, my EFS, followed by a string of characters. There it is. All this stuff is very important and it's unique to your phone, so I recommend after you get this folder, you drag it over to your desktop computer for safekeeping. So whenever you have network problems, radio problems, Bluetooth problems, you have a backup that you can restore to. That was how to backup your EFS partition on your Note 3. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to check out the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. Thanks and you have a good day.